Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm Nye. We're continuing to make our way through this extraordinarily large forest where enemies abound, and uh, I've been trying to hunt down Rapunzel because she vanished some time ago. And I'm I'm beginning to get this this sense of scale from the game. And the get me up there, come on. The, one of the big things of the game is that the, the the game has like a much larger size than the previous Kingdom Hearts games did, and I'm only beginning to appreciate that because the last actual like console Kingdom Hearts was Kingdom Hearts Two, which I know fairly well and be oh okay there we go. You know I know that game fairly well, but what that means is that I'm kind of familiar with the length of worlds in that. And then I've played a fair amount of, you know, some of the handheld versions. But once again, you know, you know the... Let's see. Hmm. You know, you get to know the, the size of the worlds in those games. And uh, they're not big. So when you get to this and you start seeing, like, the game just... Uh, is that an indication that there is a... Lucky emblem around here? I mean, I don't see one. But you gotta get an idea of how, how you know, kind of how big the, uh, you know, things are in the game. And I haven't really gotten a feel for how big this game is. I don't... Yeah, I don't see. Like, look at these rocks right here, and like maybe the rocks, you know, create a Mickey. But I don't see it. I don't know. We'll keep looking. I bet we'll find some ingredients around here. I'm sure that we will. Okay, so we got. Oh, my map just went away. I guess we're in the area where we had to hunt down the second map. It's kind of a weird place. Just take the map away. Sure? No. Willing to go this way to find out? Sure. I guess we can't go up there. Got some black truffle. Okay. So we are now in the marsh. Right. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I can't quite tell, actually. Uh, I wonder where they went. That way, in front of you. They ran like hell. They couldn't have gotten too far. Oh dear. Person in the cloak. Hey, blame the has been, not me. Well, I think you mean. She has really large eyes. <laughs> I bet that's the name the has been would prefer. Yeah, I don't care. We're gonna call him the has been. You look really sarcastic. Whoop, she heard the magic name. She gonna come say hi? I love that she actually, like, fixes her hair. Kind of? A little bit? Been walking with her for about half an hour? Oh, hey, good to meet you. And I've just been worried sick. She's around here somewhere. Where is my dear sweet girl? Somewhere around here. Tell you, but we lost her. Yeah. She just kind of broop away. We could. Look together. We could. You lost her? You're of no use to me. What a jerk. You just have this find her myself. Just have this like stink eye on your face, like did you guys not pick that up? If Marluxia was on to something back there. I mean, I'm trying not to. What? No. Of course not. But what if? What if? I agree. Why is Rapunzel in danger? Mm-hmm. What darkness is after her? That lady. Well, guys, the first step is to find her. That is a fantastic first step. Let's get back to it. So... 
Rapunzel's okay. Go go ahead and save real quick because you know my policy is if you have a chance to save, do it. Okay, so Whoa. I also hope that. Oh hey. Not only do we have company, we have a magic carousel. We're just gonna get this done. It is really irritating to be doing this without a map. Darn it, missed that one. I wish this actually went like in time to the music or something. Maybe it does, and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, who is the enemy that's not? Oh, you're not dead. Okay. Cool. We'll just get rid of you. There seems to be something a little bit off about the uh, the movements here of that particular uh, heart. Uh, nobody. Do you? I really want the treasure chest that gives me the map. Let's let's keep looking for that. I think we have to go back this way. There's been a little bit of framiness in the game and a couple of situations where it feels like long distance. Like if if you play a game where there's you know, especially an older game, they tend to have these long distance sprites. And then they'll have these short, you know, the short distance, you know, good uh animations and it seems like with like how these things rock a little bit we're seeing the long distance sprite as opposed to the good uh the highly animated you know 3d model this this right here it looks like instead of getting like full like 30 or 60 frames per second it's looking closer to like 10 to 12 and it looks so weird And you can especially see it during the slow-mo right there. I'm sure there's going to be, like, a trophy or something like that that's going to be, like, break all of the Flynn Rider. Um, break all of Flynn's, you know, uh, want posters. But, yeah, you, you can kind of see it. It's kind of weird. So what I'm trying to figure out is there's a setting in the options menu, which is basically, like, performance versus graphics. And is it doing that because I chose, uh... Oh, okay. Interesting. Not sure what the point of that is. So are we seeing that because I chose graphics over performance? Okay, I am actually getting myself a little bit lost. Okay, let's just go ahead and do Flare Force. We always have a little bit lost because of the lack of map in these combats. Because the combats are so, like, movement intensive. It's a little bit hard for me to figure out where the hell I am. Hope we find some ingredients around here. I'm sure we will. Here, have some more eel. Okay, we'll go out there in a second. But I did see a treasure chest over here. Hey, more eel. And a shadow anklet. Okay. How do we get out of here? It's a very good question. God, there are nobodies everywhere. And yeah, I'm definitely seeing like the. I need to be switching over. I guess the shooting star, because it is the the latest of the um, keyblades that I've gotten. Though it seems to be having just as much uh, trouble. Dealing high levels of damage as the uh, Kingdom Key is. And I guess part of that's just going to be that we're playing on Proud Mode. You know, we're starting to see those types of enemies. The enemies that are harder to kill. But at the same time... And there's level 15. It might also be somewhat based on what settings we chose at the very beginning. I think I see something. Okay, oh, there's a, okay. Is this our map? 
Okay, that's the... Okay, cool. Now we have the map. Now it's a little bit easier to explore. Now, I believe we've been over in this direction before. So, we got anything fun over here? I'm looking... You know what I should do? Before we do anything else, check treasures real quick. So, there's the second map. So, this is how... This is basically how far into uh, the world we are. Okay, we got a sign. So the sign basically says, keep going this way. The sign says, long-haired, freaky people need to go this way. Okay, so there's this. Though, yeah, that looks, yeah, that doesn't look creepy at all. Anything else over here? I'm just, I'm looking at right now just to see is there like a treasure chest or something. Where? I don't see it. Where's the lucky emblem? Okay, we're gonna come back here in just a second. I wanna make sure to hit that. Okay. So Donald says Okay, everybody says a lucky emblem around here. What am I missing? I don't see a lucky emblem. Oh. Nice. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a little bit subtle. Ooh, nice. We also got a magic boost. You find the next one. Okay, so the question is... How how many have I missed? That is literally the second one. Okay. Holy crap. This world is a little bit large. That was a weird... Oh, okay, that's what happened. Wow, this does absolutely no damage. Okay, we're just gonna finish, because I can't even hit her. Wow! Okay, that sucks. Okay, we definitely need... Number one, we need aerial recovery. Game, can you just give that to me, please? I'd appreciate it. Okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and kill all these things. Get ourselves some more stuff. I like that I don't have to pick up all of the uh, uh, various ingredients. Okay, let's go ahead and blast your blaze. Like, the, the, all of these things, like the, the hungry stones, stuff like that, the fact the game does not require that I go and actively hunt them, you know? It's kind of pleasant to be able to kind of go, okay, well, I don't have to hunt them. We're just going to get them automatically, and it's just like these prizes um, that I don't get automatically. Okay. Well, I think we have probably plumbed the depths of the swamp here. We're going to have to go cooking sometime soon. Okay. So let's go where the game wants me to go. The game wants me to head in this direction. Just clean up some bracken. Okay, so more enemies. So are these... Are these heartless? Are these nobodies? Or are these just... They're heartless. Okay. Base entirely. Can I actually be up here? Cool. Um, Base entirely off the eyes. That's not necessary, Goofy. It's fine. Oh, cool. I, I remember seeing that you could do that, and I forgot about it. Okay. So, they go in here? They can climb walls? Oh, that's where they are. This is kind of neat, actually. I was kind of hoping for something like this. Like, d doing some more verticality sort of thing, just because the game allows us to do it. It doesn't feel like the actual Heartless have that much they can do on the wall. Other than just get wrecked. So how... Can we... 
Can we explain how the how like the two of them actually got out here? Okay, so I guess we're just gonna do some leveling up because there are tons of enemies here and no reason not to ruin as many of them as I can. I see a sign over there. So we're getting close to wherever it is that I have to go to. Oh, hey. And Goofy has been taken out. It's not... I'm, I'm kind of amazed that Goofy has been getting taken out more than um, Donald for the most part. Like, you can usually count on Goofy to last and Donald to get ruined, but uh, Donald has been surviving most of these encounters... I wouldn't say Goofy's been... Uh-oh. Oh, right. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. Cool. Ooh, got some Damascus. I actually need that. Oh, hey, friend. I didn't know you were over here. I didn't mean to ignore you. I think I saw... Yeah, there we are. I love that Sora can just kind of hang out here in the air. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I can just do this. Don't mind me. Okay. Moving on. I see a save point, which is probably a good sign. And I see a Moogle point, which is a better sign. And I see a cutscene, which means we're on the right track. It means we might just finish this. I hear a horse. That voice. It's Rapunzel. We found them! <laughs> Apparently, Finn is afraid of horses. Especially this one. I can understand why. Sup. Is that supposed to make you... Oh. Apparently, her chameleon has power over horses. Such a good boy. Yes, you are. This is what I do to my dog. <laughs> who is sitting over here watching me. This bad man all over the place. Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do Big they? hug. Oh, Big on. horse hug. We like this horse. Also, it's a Disney princess. Disney princess talking to horses, talking to animals. You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. It's a big day. And the thing is, yes. I need you not to get him arrested. That would be kind of appreciated. Hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Yep, okay. Are we going to shake? Oh, come on. And it's also my birthday. Just so you know. It's kind of a big day. You can do it. We believe in you. There we go. Good horsey. Rapunzel. Hey! And you're okay. I'm alive. Nice. I like this horse. Yeah. Apparently I have to go watch this movie if this type of thing happens in it. I need a friend. Nice! Hello, horse. Maximus. Hi, Maximus. Us, and where one goes, the other follows. That's a great way to do it. Hey, can you not be evil to us? Yeah, we're good guys. Okay, good. I'm glad you appreciate us. Uh, come on. The kingdom's not far. Wait, Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts is not far? Is this is Maximus now part of the party? Do we now have three people in the party? No? I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Um, Let's save. Haven't saved in like ten minutes. It's important to save. This way when bad things happen, you don't get upset. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here. Workshop! Here, have some materials. Cool, we unlock some stuff. We can now buy lucid shards and lucid stones. I like it. Any other photo missions? So we still need to do the water core. I haven't seen one in a while. Um, can I do keep it? I can. So we can upgrade um one thing. So this has form change extender, but I kind of I kind of want to upgrade the kingdom key, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the kingdom key. Didn't really do much, unfortunately, and we need another Damascus to be able to do it again. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and upgrade the hero's origin, though. And now that has form change extender. Or is it th that it gets form change extender when I power it up? Maybe that's more accurate. Okay. So we'll figure that out. Um, synthesis item. So we can now make crystals. Good to know. We can make the mask rosette, but 
Now, we are probably not going to end up doing that. And I can't make these because these require fluorite. Okay. Uh, supposedly, the Moogle has new stuff for us to buy. Oh, just the stones. Okay, cool. Okay. I feel as if we have done a lot. There's a campfire here. Can I, can I pet the horse? No, the horse is kind of... I can't even go in the same position as the horse. Okay, well, that happens. Let's move on. Look at what? Look, girl, everything is pretty to you. That being said, it is kind of pretty over here. Okay. Anything? Anything I can look at? No? There is a small, like, thing off the side up here. Let's go figure out what that is. It's a treasure chest. Hey, I need those. Got an ether. Useful. Okay. Anything going on over here? You know what? Just for giggles. Um, we're gonna do stable mode, and I wanna see. I wanna see if anything changes. Okay, so it looks like we have a bunch of ways we can go. If I can go up. Which I cannot currently do. There's nothing here. Don't mind me. The kingdom's not far, but we need to scale these cliffs. Well, then let's look for a way up. Or I could go this way. Hmm. Okay. Are these runnable? Yes. Okay. So, if we go over here... Okay, so the game's gonna kind of force me to do this. Okay, so we can swing. Neat. That was kind of fun. What's over here? Oh, heartless. But just shadows. No big deal. Oh, I see another one of those. Let me go deal with this real quick so I don't miss it. Finn's a good guy, really. He's just wanted by literally the entire kingdom. What is that? Oh, it's a... Okay. Hi, friend. Okay, good. We won't be doing that. His shield's ready. I should do that. Let's go ahead and do Goofy Bombardier. Man, these worlds are huge. Like, there is so much world to this world. Okay, so her magic's increased. I'm not sure how important that is. Sure, we're, we're doing it. Just because this is so much easier than having to fight them individually. Oh, I see stuff over here that I did not pick up yet. Let's go ahead and make sure we get all that. Get all of these shards. I'm sure we're probably going to need all of these shards for uh, synthesis at some point, especially whenever we get to the actual Ultima weapon. It's going to happen eventually. Holy crap, there are enemies everywhere. And I am not the epic killer of everything that I was in previous games. Why are you not dead? Okay. Now it's dead. Now... Oh. Can we, can we skip this? Don't need this. They're, they're all... Every enemy is now dead. Yeah, every enemy is dead. That was necessary. So it looks like this is here just so for us to get the black trumpet... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I the things feel weird. We're doing this again. Okay. So I guess we'll go up here. Is there anything over here? I mean, there's that. So now she'll let me swing across again. Uh, did not want. Did not want. Did not want at all. Okay, cool. So, the big question is, was there anything at on the ground level that I have now missed by going all the way up here? Probably, because there was, like, stuff over there, too. Okay, so if I jump off, I can get back up. Okay, cool. I think I saw, yep, there's a treasure chest. Got a defense belt. Right. 
Oh. She is suddenly over here. Hmm. Sora, can you climb up to that ledge? I can climb up to this ledge. Is this not the ledge you were talking about? Oh no. Now we have to climb back up. Oh no. no That's terrible. Look, I'm trying to look at stuff, okay? Can you What is I bet you could bust this open if you hit it hard enough from above. If that is... Okay, so that's what it wants me to do. It wants me to do the aerial drop. I got you, Finn. Okay. Hmm. So how do I get high enough to do No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let me look away from the Damn it. So I guess I have to go all the way back around again. In order to do this the way they want me to. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to have to go all the way back around again in order to hit that rock. And then I'm going to have to go all the way back around again uh, in order to actually go up. Sora, this looks like a good place to cross. Yep. I'm, I'm already here. I'm just waiting for you, girl. See, she does the weird... She has the weird framey thing, too. I don't legitimately get where that comes from. Sora, this looks like a good place to cross. Way ahead of you, girly. Okay. Man, I hope you don't lose grip on your hair one day and then, like, just hurt yourself. Okay. So where is the rock in question? Like, I can't see it. And I don't want to jump without knowing where it is. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Damn it. It's over here. So where do you jump from? Like, I gotta go all the way back around again now. But I don't see the point that you're supposed to jump from in order to hit this. Because I can't see it. Which is, uh, you know, probably needless to say, irritating. But there's going to be a treasure chest in there, and it's going to be something probably worthwhile, uh, given how much trouble I have to go through just to actually activate it. Can I jump from here? No, because it won't allow me to actually... Yeah, I'm, I'm... Yeah, it won't let me do it from here. Okay, so the other thing I can do is I can run over here... Yeah, we haven't tried the cavern once. I don't know what you mean by again. Is that what this is for? Okay. There we go. Oh, it's a big chest, too. Okay. What is it? It is an arrow cufflink. Slight boost in magic and maximum AP. So... It only gives one, mag or one magic, though. And less AP. What does the ability do? More damage to arrow effects. Generate a rose situation commands without meeting the requirements. Stack the ability to decrease the odds. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't... I mean, I guess. Oh. Never mind. He has abilities stacked up. I take it back. We're not doing that. Uh, where do I have to go for this? Okay. So I guess we'll go all the way around. It's just irritating that it just was a little bit more... This looks like a good place to cross. Not as much difficult, but it wasn't exactly obvious where you had to go to make that happen. But it's good to know that, like, I guess every world will have one or more situations where you have to do the big, you know, aerial slam ability in order to get something done. Okay. Sora, over here. I'm already here. Like, can you stop calling for me? Also, they need to get these uh, these bridges, like, handled. Okay, looks like that's going to be it for me. Thanks for joining me, guys. Into the cave next time.